All right, so earlier we were flying with just foggles on. How would you rate the Icarus compared to having the foggles on? Just a normal pair of foggles that you, you know, you normally see is what we were having on earlier. I've definitely Four, lost all of my peripheral vision. We're gonna get right back to that video. That's two people going out. Chris Hauser, our instrument instructor, along with Chris Nelson, one of our HOGS members that owns the R22 they're flying. So they're comparing Foggles to the Icarus device. Many of us have been flying with these forever, so Chris Nelson has experience with this, and so does Hauser, and they're going out for the first time and trying this. Video's a little bit long, but we're gonna leave the most of it there just so you can see a real evaluation from two guys going out and trying it for the first time. I think the product is phenomenal. So we'll get right back to that video. As soon as I tell you about a free PDF down below for our Amazon bestseller, Private Pilot 101, free to anybody as a PDF down below. All kinds of questions about getting a Private Pilot rating and tons of great resources in that book. So let's get back to the video. Yeah, so here we are playing with the Icarus today. Uh, what we'll do is we'll depart into the wind and then uh, we'll just go up to, I don't know, 2,000 feet, maybe 2,500, something like that, whatever you want to do. It's starting to clear up here, so, yep. And we will play with the Icarus and see how, how we like it. Sounds good. All right, so let's see if this works. As we're climbing, let's see what happens here. Anything happening? Not yet. Okay. Correction for water traffic, Skybox 73 is on the way down the runway to the Okay. So what this should be representing, if I'm reading this right, is one mile of viz. I would say that's pretty accurate. I was going to say, how's it look like looking out? Yeah, it's... Right now, like, what what's what can you see looking outside right now? Um, I mean, like I... how far out, you think? Real, realistically, probably about three miles. Okay. Um, but that's just because there's a lot of shade difference between the trees and the gotcha. fields. Like, can you see those that power those power lines running up there? Yes. Okay. I'd say those probably are. I agree with you. Probably a couple miles in front of us. And I believe what this means is one mile. It's the film on there is fifty percent. Opaque. Okay. So. All right, so we're zero, 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 and we're 2,000 feet. All right. Yeah, come, uh, yeah, come right to zero, one, zero. Let's see what that does for us real quick. Okay, zero, one, zero. You think you still got about a mile, two miles maybe biz out there? Yep. All right, let's try. And you kept going because you decided that you didn't want to turn around and... I'm just stopping over at 226 Is it getting worse or not? Oh, yeah, it's getting way worse. Okay, way worse. Okay, now what, what do you think your visibility outside is? Uh, zero. Zero right now? Yep. Okay. So if you look... Yeah, if you look in outside, straight above the instruments, Zero, zero percent right now. I can barely, I can just make out the the bar that right here in the middle of the helicopter. The support bar. Okay, like right in front of us. Yep. Okay, that's it. So you can't see anything outside. Nope. All right. All right. So we're continuing on flying. I've switched. It. I've switched it back a little bit. Oh, okay. Yep. I can see a little bit now. I think it's better or worse than the first time that we. So right now I got it on the one mile, but I increased the opaque, the opacity, opaque, I don't know. Okay. The seeing through, does it seem worse than the very first start or not? No. Okay. All right, hitting a half mile now, let's see what happens. Air in traffic, helicopter 403 Papa Hotel left downwind for runway four. We'll uh, be landing to the barrel attack for runway four. Yeah, that's... I can just make out just barely the buildings, a little bit of trees. Okay. But not very much. All right, so we're about a half mile biz right now. 
All right, let's make a uh, let's make a right turn to 090. Zero zero. Right turn 090, zero zero, maintaining 2000. Nice standard right turn, maintain 2000. How do you feel? So it's it was overcast this morning, and now we've got broken. So with the sun out, does it feel like that that's a, really a glare or anything in your eyes or not? No. Uh, oh, water traffic there in five, we do have four Delta Tango seven to the south inbound two five cold water. We do have the sun oh, behind us, so I want to try it once we turn into the sun a little bit, see if that bothers you at all. Uh, all right, so like a fool, we decided that we were going to continue on. Yeah, it looks pretty dark now. All right. Now it's feel like it got worse. Yep. That will give us a little bit of car beat. And cold water yes, traffic yes. there in 5 8 4 Delta Tango has the traffic in sight. will be number two. So this should be uh, less than a half mile biz here. Would you uh, agree with that? Yes, that's okay. definitely less than a half All right. Mile. All right, so earlier we were flying with just foggles on. How would you rate the Icarus compared to having the foggles on? Just a normal pair of boggles that you, you know, you normally see is what we were having on earlier. I've definitely Good lost traffic, all of my peripheral vision. Okay. Turning a bit left so I can't, I can't see or make out anything on the, on the far outsides of my eyes. So they're definitely more of a viewing obstruction than, okay. than the standard foggles. Gotcha. What about looking like... You know, like looking at your feet, can you see the ground? Like, can you see your feet and out to like the bottom of the windows or anything? Uh, a little bit. I think that, you know, the positioning of of the device is important on the hat, you know. Gotcha. Uh, but it's, you know, I can see all my instruments, you know, so I feel very cold comfortable and safe in it. On final oh. runway two five, cold water. All right, let's go. All right, tell me if anything changes. Yeah, it's getting a little bit lighter. Okay. What lot, do you think? A lot lighter. A lot lighter. 50%. Okay. Kind of looks like I'm underneath a cloud ceiling right now. What would you rate your biz outside? Uh, about 50%. Or, uh, put that, put that in miles. Uh, probably about five miles. Okay. Final two, five, cold water. Short final two, five, cold water. Michigan City traffic scaling two, we're not, three, we're not going to want to go much more for uh, fuel. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's cool. Well, I just mean away uh, from the airfield. Right. Okay. Let's make a right turn to uh, 180. Right turn 180, maintaining we're, 2000. Yep. We're about five miles out, so. So what do you? It, what's it doing now? Getting darker. Okay. I'm gonna turn you into the sun and just kind of see what it looks like, maybe into the sun, see if there's any type of glare. Yep, there's a glare right there. Okay. So is it kind of hard to, yes. is it like distracting glare or uh, kind of blinding glare or? Yes, definitely blinding glare where I can. It's obstructed almost probably about 80% of visibility. Okay. But I mean, you can still see the instruments, right? Oh yeah. Okay. But just the sun coming through is make it kind of bright or whatever. Yep. I don't remember, do foggles do that? Foggles kind of do that too, right? Uh, with with that that uh, dark blue band I have on mine, it doesn't. Oh, okay. But if you have like a see-through kind of band, it will. Gotcha. Or a lighter color. All right. How's your vision now? Now it's at almost zero. Good, zero. So you can't even see really out in front of the aircraft? Nope. All right, perfect. So right now we've got less than a half mile and I put it at uh, 98% opaque, so really should be totally in the blind, really. Yep, I would agree.
Cool. What I'll do is I'll set you up for a uh, right base into two seven. Okay. So overall, since today we were out doing in instrument training, and earlier we were flying with Foggles, and then we're uh, playing with the Icarus right now, and we're going to play with it more uh, later off camera. What what would your uh, opinion and value be for it? Um, you definitely can't cheat using these. Lost all visibility besides your instruments, and uh, it definitely is a lot more like being in the clouds than with their standard fog yeah. on. So like you said earlier, you've lost your peripheral. Um, how about the comfort level? So these clip to a bill of a hat, and then a wire comes off to the side and connects to the battery pack. How's that feel? Does it, do you feel like any discomfort? And come to left, uh, 180 for me. And if you want to come left, 180, come down to uh, 1500 if you like, please. Down to 1500, 180. Yep. So comfort level as opposed to the foggles, you know, so now you have to wear a hat, it clips onto the bill of your hat. Um, any issues with, with that kind of stuff or your I think it's more, uh, the only issue I have right now is that I wish the hat would be a little bit tighter. Okay, uh, which is not the fault of the Icarus, right? Or are you correct. talking about the, yeah. The... Right, it, it's just the hat is a little big for my head. So gotcha, I, I gotcha. would say somebody needs to have a, a well-fitting hat gotcha. for, the, for the weight of the device on the bill. Which isn't really that much, right? It's, no, I mean, no, it's very yeah. lightweight, right? Yeah, it's not uncomfortable to wear whatsoever. Um, you just, the hat can tilt, I guess, you know, down further right, right. and obstruct your view of the instruments more. And once you come to, let's try one, uh, 160 for me. 160. Get you lined up a little bit better. So overall comfort's good. You got a little bit of glare. We're flying into the sun currently, um, but I believe Foggles that as well. But yours is a little different. I think you have a stripe or something you said. Yeah. But, uh. Well, in your, in your professional pilot opinion, what would you give this device? Uh, I would give it an 8 out of 10, I think. Nice. I think with a little bit more uh, adjustment um, you know, and, and a little bit more time in it, I think I could definitely see the, the benefits of gotcha. it from a, a student standpoint. Yeah. Um, it just needs a little... We kind of threw this together pretty, pretty quickly, and, and I could... I could see having a little bit more, a little more time to play with it. Yeah, and uh, and we should mention that you're not wearing your hat, so that's the Correct. that's the issue there. And for the people out there, Icarus is an app that you would download to your phone or iPad. And uh, I'm running the visibility right now off of my phone, giving him different uh, visibility scenarios here. Right now, we're running under less than a quarter of a mile of viz. Um, not too bad. Uh, the Icarus connected by Bluetooth to my phone. It wasn't that hard. Uh, you, it, it, there is a battery pack. Obviously, you want to make sure that's charged up before you go out flying. Um, and then, of course, like you said, uh, download the, uh, the Icarus app onto your phone. And then you just got to connect it. But uh, overall, I haven't really had a chance to use it yet, so I can't really give my opinion. I've played with it a little bit at home. I think it's uh, I think it's a damn good. I mean, I definitely like that you can't cheat looking outside, you know? Nope. I like that idea. And getting as real as we can is the name of the game here. All right, we're on about, if you want to call, we're about ready to turn base to final here. We're about a, uh, about a mile out. So if you want to call Warsaw, right base final 2-7. Warsaw traffic helicopter zero four uniforms on our right base for two seven Warsaw. All right, and if you want to come right two seven zero and just give me a nice normal descent, and I'll take you right into the runway. All right, turn to right, and actually make it about a three zero zero because I, because I was talking and I got you, I passed the, the approach here. Okay, three zero zero. I'll get you lined up here. Yep. All right, go ahead and level out there. And continue to come down. And as we get lower, visibility is going to get better because we're coming out of the clouds. How's Viz now? A little better. A little better. All right, 
Okay, looking good. Now how's this? Good. Almost back to normal. All right. Yep, I, so I got it on the one mile viz still, but I took the, uh, the op opacity, man, I don't even know how to say it. The opaqueness, is that a word? Yep. Down to almost like 20%, so you should see. Yeah, looking good. All right, and then, don't get scared here. I'm going to push this button to see clearly all the way, or, or no. What I can do is I push this safety button, and it should go right back to 10 miles viz. Did yep. it change? Yep. All right, perfect. Yeah, it's actually harder to fly with them. You notice, like, I was struggling with my speed. Yeah, I saw you come down a little bit. Yeah, so it's definitely uh, takes some getting used to, but would be way better. That's good, but the helicopter industry needs a good tool because obviously we don't have us as, uh, you know, we're out here instructing. We don't have access to a a sim you know not many flight schools have a helicopter simulator so you know we got to do the best that we can do and, and until these came along foggles was kind of the it but of course we all know that if you have any if you've done any instrument training with foggles on you can see below them you can see your peripheral you can you know but that at the time that's the best we had right so i think with this device is going to be a game changer here so shout out to you nick uh, good job on developing it. I can't wait to, to play with it. So we're going to land here and uh, we're going to go out and play with it some more. <laughs> Peace out. When you feel the pressure to fly, but know the right decision is to stay on the ground, hit the hogs, no go, and live to fly another day. Helicopterground.com